getting consistent top twos at every single event in the last few months. Absolutely. Is it finally time for Liquid to break that curse and, and come in first place? But what a time it would be to do that indeed against Newbie, a team that has definitely shown a lot of their strengths already with this smoke gang. Newbie coming in aggressive. Oh, don't go back. Don't go back. So he turns back in and Newbie will look to claim themselves first blood off the back of that blunder. Fine control getting caught out by a, a very aggressive but very successful movement there from Newbie. I mean, you, well, he's coming down towards this bottom lane, but there's already a sentry here for Newbie, so it'll be hard for Kuroki to find a lead in. He'll know right now. Instantly he'll take damage. There's no way they kill him either. This this dual lane combo, the okay, maybe they will. With a dust, they can certainly give it a All go and a bash as well. Coming in, and there's the good old sun ray. 6.87 indeed. There's one. Kaka getting caught up with the telekinesis to find a kill and return. But he's going to try and get KP as well. No time off for 17 seconds, but the chase down won't be there. They're actually losing the mid lane here. Um, it's, it's a bit surprising, just slightly, but it's not really that much because Dragonite, he, he can't kill him. He's got all this regen. Oh, and look at down bottom here with the sentry down. Kuroki's walked into Tron's trap. And uh, they'll find themselves another kill onto Kuroki. Side, to lane still. How? Hanging around with Tron. Eyes onto Kuroki just in case he comes too far out there. He'll be very willing to try and make a jump onto the man, but Kuroki is getting a bit more space. He's reaching up, but there we go. It's not enough. They move in, they close the gap, and Kuroki a little bit too close for his own good, and it is another death on this Ricky. Three of the four deaths at the moment. Yeah, it's mid. And now he's rotating top. He's died a few times. Um, did die bottom, of course. That was kind of maybe where he needed to start the game. Pressure the Phoenix or something. Mid lane, what do we got going here? Moving in onto Bada, they'll go forward, they'll take the Zeus kill. Mind control, turning around with the roar. Jarex follows through with the Telekinesis. He's trying to try to move under the tab of the armor's too much. They'll burst down the Phoenix with the Fade Ball, but Jarex, he's going to get taken down by How. How can he get himself out? He's got Moon and Tron with him, so yes, he's going to be fine. And now with the stun from Tron, they'll turn onto Mind Control with the Hex to follow through. They should be able to find the Beastmaster as well, and they do. They find themselves a third there in the mid lane. Three for one trade for Newbie. Okay, Zeus ult now, the buyback ult to finish off power, and that, that certainly was worth it there for Fada. Instantly. And as you said, they did have a few eyes onto the top lane. Mind control, he's got the raw back up. He needs one coin, he's got it. Uh, there we go, shot through the trees, and then we go on to Howe with the smoke screen as well. They got the damage to finish his man off with the ball, so the Thunder Gods are out, they'll find it. A big kill for Liquid, but Newbie, they're looking to punish it. Straight onto Mind Control with the Dragon nice. Tail, and he goes for the Smart TP. Nothing to cancel it, nothing to hold him back. And Liquid getting away with a clean pick off onto the... Spells from Lion, or even Supernova. And now they're doing their smoke rotation again. Again, it's going to be Jarex and Fada smoking yeah, together. To How they're just going to get that lead in raw. Let's see if they get it. They will indeed. No chance for How to respond. Kuroki moves in with the smoke screen. Thunder God's Wrath to, to ensure that they get the kill. Matuma Man picks up the final touch. One saves him no problem. If he had ult there, that was Chuan dying 100%. So. A little unfortunate for me to use it. Uh, looking for the D-Ward, actually. They're going to spot this Observer Ward that Liquid attack. just placed, so... That's got to be a little scary for Jarek. Jarek, he's going to go for the play here. Oh! oh. Jarek, styling on him a top lane. KP, cruising with the Chrono Spit, the Bash is on to Matsuma Man as well. Can he get himself out of this one? He can't. They'll take down the Lycan. And with Kaka moving in, Pots the Dust looking forward for more. Can he close in onto Kuroki? Kuroki getting himself out to the left. Trying to juke it, he's got a salve as well. And looks like he will be able to get himself out of there. Getting that valuable intel indeed, Kuroki. So with them all grouping mid, it seems pretty clear that they're going to go there. The other lanes aren't super push out, but... Oh, look at this, no messing as well. Straight up with the supernova move. He's going to close in, get the dragon tail off, and classic clean cut newbie execution there in the mid lane. The survive. So smoke is stopped, and they might be able to get dragon out here. I was going to say, has been left alone here, and Liquid got responding to this one. Kuro can't reveal this, he's got to wait for the dragon, or the, the roar. Oh, he's trying to go for the Invis body block, Kuroki. There we go, sets it up for the roar, and they come on to move. He's out of mana, out of luck. No hate stream's going to save him at the moment. Yeah, and so. a very nice reaction from Liquid. To, I mean, maybe off the back of that play, you know, a failed smoke, and then leaving Muta farm very deep on his own on that bottom lane. Yeah, was a, that was a bit weird, for sure. Um, especially because they knew that they had just revealed on a Ricky. Like, surely Ricky, he'll see, maybe see you dust, stay in the area, track your movement, but he probably felt fine if he had haste. Kuro's gonna find the Phoenix too. Yeah, up here on what the high ground here. Hex straight away, locking down Kuroki. They'll move in, they'll take him down. No, he gets the chance for the tricks of the train, and maybe Liquid can back him up. KP with the Chrono Sphere on the two back line. It's Fada and Mike held back. The finger from Tron takes down Kuroki. And we'll move in for a second. They found Fada How still alive in the midst of this all. The Phoenix Sunray forcing Mind Control back. Matsuma Man, he's gotta get himself out 
now with the ult off, but the Necro unit's chasing down KP, the Wolves as well. Can they quite finish off this Void? The attack slow though from the Spirits, from Phoenix will hold it back. At the moment, three down on Liquid. Now, still moving in, he just wants to fend these units off, and as we can see there, Newbie very, very happy with that fight. Yeah, yeah the PL does detect Invisible Heroes. They're putting a high ground ward, they're gonna attempt Roche here. Can Liquid stop it is the question. It's gonna be really hard. Because Zeus can poke it out a little bit, but they can punish with this, mobility. This Invis room from Mu though could be the, the starter off. In fact, it's Batuma Man getting ready with the ult running straight in. Smoke screen onto Kafka and a half. Was them off to the side. Now Mu gets his stun off. Onto Jarek on the back line. Jarek's done. The pull back out the Zeus ult. They'll take down two here. This could be a great fight here for the side of Liquid. Batuma Man hexed up. But look at him go. That move was speed. Takes down Tran here with the wolf. Turns around with Look at the damage output of Fodder in this fight. Mu, the last one left standing, but he's going to go down as well as a triple oh kill for the Zeus. And this is what we're talking about, Purge. You don't kill that Zeus, and he absolutely destroys you in these fights at the moment, 23 minutes in. How in the hell did this happening is going to happen? Just because Liquid is almost always going to have the vision advantage with Ricky and the Beastmaster Hawk. But you've got to get one of them on. Such a nice fight. But no, Dark oh my god, are you serious? Oh, dives in, Jerry. Okay, the Hawk. Okay. There was a Hawk back there between the Tier 2 and the Tier 1, so he saw that coming. It wasn't like... Hawks, really, this game have been absolutely brilliant. We've seen yeah. them catch out a fair few smokes, constantly scouting out the positioning of newbies as they come in to look for these engagements. And and this is the problem, you know, we said this 12 minutes, or like 12 minutes late, so 25 minutes in. Oh, they're going They're going to be going for pushes, they're going to be going for these fights, and they're going to be My absolutely destroying God. these heroes. And Nubi is not set up here because they killed Phoenix, now they take another tier 2, the, yeah. and KP making a mistake means now they can pressure the Rex. This is the classic time of game where the Liquid find their element, and they they know how to use it absolutely perfectly, and with a with a Beastmaster like a draft like this, it's going to work for the most part of it. Can they slow them down, Nubi? Oh, how? he's dying. How? He's gone! You've lost your PL, he was going to have to fight Back straight away. Liquid, they find the tier three. They'll get themselves out, keeping the Man alive. But they're just going to be looking for really good team fights. They can easily still win this game. They've got the team fight heroes. They have the better team fight heroes. They can't get initiated on. They can't lose heroes one by one right at the start of the fight. So Liquid will do the predictable thing. Push up with the one hero that can't die. Well. Can't say twice. Oh, can he try and kill him though? Jumping in onto Matuma Bama. This man, he is the man with the Aegis. Gets finger down, they'll be able to pop it. Mind control jumping forward, looking for the raw opportunity. Gets it off to KP. Oh, the Supernova in the back line. The Tuma Man's back and they've lost the void. The Tuma Man, can they kill him? But the Supernova's done coming through. How? Move closing in, but he gets the chance to run away. In from the sidelines, Jarek's looking to control Tran. The wall's chasing him down. It's a double kill. They're going to get held. Well, a triple kill from the Tuma Man as he sends the units in. The move is Jarek with the body block. They're looking for moves. Well, they're going to get it. Four down on. Newbie at 27 minutes in, Liquid destroying them in every single fight. Yep. It's called, it's the classic Liquid, they play this kind of playstyle so perfectly, 27 minutes in, this kind of lineup that's so suited to these early fights, crushing your opponents, and I mean, by God, in those last five minutes, they absolutely crushed Newbie. That was a game that Newbie was pretty significantly winning, game was not over, and then all of a sudden, six minutes later, they GG out because they got two racks.